hello friends in this video we will study about the flat manipulation instructions available in the instruction set of 8086 microprocessor so let us start with our topic <music> In 8086 microprocessor, we have a 16-bit flag register. This flag register contains various flags and the flags indicate us about the status of the result or the condition of the result which is obtained after an arithmetic and logical operation. Like if the result obtained after an arithmetic and logical operation, if we are obtaining a result which is zero, then we have a zero flag in the flag register so that flag will be set so these flags in the flag register they will be set or reset depending upon the result obtained okay so these flags they are of two types one are the control flags and second are the status flags The control flags are used to provide the various control signals in the microprocessor. If you want to enable or disable those control signals, then we use the control flags. Status flags, they tell us about the status of the result. That is whether the result we obtain, it's a positive or negative, a zero is obtained or an even number is obtained or an odd number. So that will be indicated by the status flags. So control flags, we have three. Interrupt flag, trap flag and direction flag. And status flags, we have sign flag, carry flag, auxiliary carry, zero, parity, and we have overflow flag. So the, uh, we have three control flags and we have six status flags. Now if we want to manipulate these flags, like if we want to, uh, these flags will be affected. They will be either set or reset. Set means their value will be 1 and reset means their value will be 0. So they are set or reset depending upon the conditions of the result. If the result obtained, suppose we have obtained a zero result, so zero flag will be set. If we have obtained a negative number, then the sign flag will be set. If we have obtained a carry, then carry flag will be set. Otherwise, it will be reset. So they are set or reset depending upon the conditions. Now, if we want, if the programmer or the user want to set or reset these flags, then it is going to uh, use these flag manipulation instructions. So through these instructions, we can manipulate or we can change the value of these flags. We can either set or reset them. So we have different uh, flag manipulation instructions. Let us study these instructions one by one. The first instruction we have is the STC instruction. STC, it is for set carry. So this instruction, it is going to set the carry flag. Set means that its value will become one. So we can say that this instruction, whenever we want to set the carry flag, this instruction is used. Now this instruction, it is affecting only the carry flags, so no other flags will be affected. Next instruction we have is CLC instruction.
the full form of this instruction is clear carry clear means that the carry flag will be reset its value will be made zero so this instruction is used to reset the carry flag and this flag also does not affect any other flag next instruction is for cmc instruction cmc stand for complements carry this instruction is used to complement the carry flag complement means that if the carry flag is zero it will be made one if it is one then it will be made zero so the uh, it is it is called complementing the carry flag so this instruction used to complement the carry flag if carry flag is suppose 0 its value will be made 1 if it is 1 then its value will be made 0 it means that if it is reset it will be set if it is set then it will be reset okay also this uh, instruction it does not affect any other flag next instruction is std instruction this instruction it uh, std it stands for set the direction flag setting means again the direction flag its value will be made equals to 1 so here direction flag is equal to 1 so that so this direct uh, std instruction it is used to set the direction flag its value will be made equal to 1 so that the si and or the di si is for the source index and di stands for destination index these are the index pointers 16 bit index pointers which are pointing towards the source data and the destination data okay so uh, whenever the microprocessor it is transferring or receiving the data so that data will be uh, transferred bit by bit so uh, every bit will be decrementing okay so uh, this uh, di df flag it is used to set the direction that whether the microprocessor it is receiving the data or transmitting the data so source index and destination index at the time of transfer of data they will be decremented automatically after the execution of in string instruction when this direction flag is set to 1 so whenever the microprocessor it is transmitting or receiving the data then the direction flag will be set using the instruction std this instruction also does not affect any other flag it is for direction flag only okay next we have cld instruction cld stands for clear data clear the direction flag d is for the direction flag 
So through the STD instruction, we are setting the direction plus if we want to clear it, means if we want to set uh, reset its value, made it value equals to zero, then we will use the clear direction flag. So this uh, instruction is used to reset the direction flag. It will be made equals to zero so that the source index and the destination index, they can be incremented automatically after execution of a string instruction. So STD, it was decrementing the SI and DI and CLD, it is incrementing the SI and DI registers, okay? This instruction also, it does not affect any other flag only direction flag will be changed. Next instruction we have is STI instruction. This instruction is for set interrupt flag. So interrupt flag, it will be made equals to one using this STI instruction. So when this uh, instruction, this interrupt flag is equal to one, then the INTR interrupt, that is the interrupt request that will be enabled, okay? So that any uh, peripheral or the input output devices, if they want to send an interrupt request to the microprocessor, that interrupt request will be enabled if interrupt flag is equal to one microprocessor it will receive the interrupt request only when this flag will be enabled by setting its value equal to one so interrupt flag is equal to one it enables intr interrupt okay and uh, this uh, STI instruction, it does not affect any other flag. It is for interrupt flag only. Next instruction is for clearing the interrupt flag. CLI. It is for clear interrupt flag. So interrupt flag will be made to zero. It will be reset using the CLI instruction. Now due to this, what uh, we have uh, disabled the interrupt register, interrupt flag is disabled. So due to this, the 8086 uh, microprocessor, it is not going to accept any interrupt request from the peripheral devices. So if any interrupt request is given at the INTR input signal uh, at the INTR pin of the 8086 microprocessor, it is not going to respond if the interrupt flag is clear, if its value is reset, okay? So interrupt operation, INTR operation will be enabled or disabled by setting or resetting the interrupt flag. By STI, we can set the interrupt flag. By CLI, we can clear the interrupt flag. So these instructions, these seven instructions, you can see that they are used to manipulate or change the value of the flags like carry flag, direction flag, and the interrupt flag, okay? Uh, we are not using here any, we are, uh, the programmer can manipulate, can set or reset the flags using these instructions okay so these are some of the flag manipulation instructions available in the instruction set of 8086 microprocessor so i hope that this topic is clear to you
Thank you.